Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going through one of the hottest up and coming neighborhoods located in the South Metro Denver area. If you're curious to learn all about that, I'm gonna unpack a whole bunch of tips and ideas about this place coming up next. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Bill Knapp and I'm a residential realtor that works primarily in the South Metro Denver area. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a quick vlog tour of an area called The Canyons, which is an up and coming new construction and residential resale neighborhood in the South Metro Denver area. The reason I wanted to highlight this community is because Denver is experiencing extreme housing inventory shortages and that's going to happen for the next year or two plus, depending on what happens with our economy. That said, this community offers an opportunity to jump into new homes without competing bids and get into an up and coming area before it's fully established. What's really great about this community to start off is its location. This is located almost perfectly between Lone Tree, Colorado and Castle Rock. It's only about 35 minutes to downtown Denver, about 20 minutes to the Denver Tech Center and about 45 minutes to Denver International Airport making it pretty much in that Goldilocks zone of far enough away from the city to have a, a bit of a yard and a space, but close enough in where you can pop in if you have to do commutes. You're not far from the airport and you can also jump on the highway and get around to the mountains. You're about an hour and 10 minutes or so to Loveland Ski Area. All really great things. So for today, what I'd like to do is take you on a very quick tour, give you some highlights and kind of a bird's eye view down of this community on what you might expect and explain to you why I feel it's a really attractive option for people moving into the area or within the Denver metro area. Some of the main things I wanna point out include that this is a master plan community constructed by five different builders and when it's fully built out, it will include about 2,000 new homes across 1,270 acres. There's gonna be two phases of construction and once all the phases are completed, you can expect to see a mix of ranch style homes, two story homes, and then there's an area of attached duplexes in the community as well. Now with the various styles, we're also gonna have different kinds of finishes inside of this community. So you'll have, like I said, the duplexes, then you'll have entry level homes, then you're gonna have more of like premier to luxury style homes in this community, taking you from any walk of life, any lifestyle that you're looking for, they're probably gonna have it inside of this community. Ideally, they're gonna have everything completed and constructed over the course of about 10 years. And right now, at the time of filming this video, we are about three years into that 10 year cycle, which means there are plenty of new construction opportunities existing in this community, along with some new residential resale homes for the people that were early adopters, making this a really great opportunity not only for residential resale, but also getting into the new community from the ground up. Now, in addition to being a really desirable location in the Denver metro area, there are a bunch of amenities that come with living inside of this community, which is a big attractor for people considering this location. One of the main things that people are looking for as far as amenities when they come here is the access to the open space. This property, this entire community, is located about five to six minutes away from the Hess Reservoir. It's also surrounded by a bunch of open space trails and phase one of construction will include 50% of the constructed homes will be backing up to open space, making it kind of a win-win. You're far enough away from everything to be out of the city life, but close enough in to get there while still having nature and open space right out your back door. Keeping with the open space, once constructed, this entire community will include 15 miles of paved and unpaved trailway that'll connect all through the community here, giving you lots of opportunity to do whatever kind of outdoor lifestyle activity you're looking for. For community features and amenities associated with those, there is gonna be a bunch of buildings that are either already constructed or soon to be constructed that'll be centrally located and become kind of like a hub for the actual entire neighborhood. Among those will be a centrally located coffee house called The Exchange. These will all be located in an area called Center Village. Also next to The Exchange is an area called The Green, which is an open air concert venue. It has a bit of an amphitheater style setup. It's right next to the kids play area. And then you can basically go grab yourself a coffee, walk over to the pool, hang out for a bit, cool off at The Green before you head back to your house. 
One of the amenities in the clubhouse style places that has not yet been built is an area called the Retreat, which is gonna be an adult-oriented kind of clubhouse, which includes a bar and a lounge, meeting and conference rooms, some more outdoor living uh, lifestyle areas. Also to be built will be a lifetime fitness in the northwestern corner of the community, along with an indoor ice skating rink. Now, if you're moving into the area and you're thinking about having kids or you already have kids, the entire community is located within the Douglas County School District, which is an award-winning school district. And then the designated schools for this community are also some of the more top-rated schools. So it's an excellent opportunity as far as just getting a new start. And there's a portion of land that's been designated for the future development of one of the Douglas County public schools. Now with all these amenities, there is unfortunately an HOA. That HOA is projected to be about $170 per month at the time of ship filming this video. Included inside of that HOA is a Metro District fee, which helps with some of the maintenance of your roadways, your parks, your landscaping, and the outdoor fencing. Also, the tax rate for this community is gonna be approximately 1.2% for those people that love that information. Plan that into your, your references and you have that when you're looking at these communities. Now for your shopping, restaurants, and amenity, you have a ton of opportunities. So where you're located here puts you very close to Lone Tree restaurants, Castle Rock restaurants, Park Meadows restaurants, Castle Rock downtown restaurants, or you can go up to the Denver Tech Center, just a 20, 25 minute drive, and get into all the different food and eateries there. In addition, you're just about 10 to 15 minutes from Park Meadows Mall. You're also 10 or 15 minutes from the Castle Rock outlets, which have amazing activities year round, making it just a, an excellent opportunity to go explore, and it's five minutes to the highway. All uh, just an amazing setup for somebody moving to this location. So now that you have like a general overview of what to expect with the community, let's hop into two of the different builders so you can get an idea of what you can expect on the inside of some of these properties. To start, let's jump into one of the Shea properties. This is gonna be an $800,000 to $900,000 home. Most of the properties in this collection will be anywhere from three to five bedrooms and three to four baths. Once you have it finished, you can expect to have anywhere from 2,200 square feet, upwards of about 32 to 3,300 square feet. You can generally expect to have anywhere from two to three car spaces, sometimes a tandem car garage. All of them will come with stainless steel appliances, quartz countertops inside of your kitchen, nine to 10 foot ceilings, and an excellent open layout that everybody kind of looks for when they move into this Colorado area. Most of the Shea homes are gonna come with unfinished basements unless you opt to finish the basement with the builder and that's a decision once you get under contract and working with that developer. The Shea homes are sprinkled throughout the Canyons complex and you can find them somewhat near some of the open space trails. Others are backing up to the open space. Depending on what your fit and your function is for the home, just talk to the local Shea office or give me a call and I can walk you through some property tours and see if we can find you a plot that fits your needs. Next up, I wanna jump into one of the Infinity Homes, which is one of the luxury builders in the community, and these homes are fantastic. These are very modern, contemporary, minimalistic finish on the interior and exterior with amazing views right out the back. Most of these Infinity Homes will be backed right up to open space. Aside from having really great layout and amazing space on the inside, they do have some small yards. So just put that into consideration. If you're a big yard person, you're probably not gonna get it in this particular line of builder, but you might find something as a trade-off inside the interior. Inside these homes, you can expect an either ranch style or two-story builds, which will have four to five bedrooms. Some will be as many as six to seven bedrooms and four to five baths or upwards of six to seven baths, depending on which model you pick. Square footage goes from 4,200 all the way up to 6,200 plus. Now inside of these infinity homes, all of the finished pieces are exactly what you'd expect in a luxury style property. From the wolf appliances for the range to sub-zeros for your refrigeration or your wine fridges. Uh, the finishes on the inside are like the concrete matte countertops with extravagant lighting, big high ceilings anywhere from nine to 10 foot ceilings at the minimum lots and lots of light and lots of glass and open space. All these infinity homes will have an unfinished basement unless you decide you want the basement to be finished. They also have two to three car garages. Some of them are tandem style and the opportunity to have a standard basement with a walkout or you can have it non-walkout. Lots of opportunity to fit every personal lifestyle. These infinity homes start at about $1.2 million and they go up to about two and a half million dollars. 
And given the fact that these complexes are getting built out very quickly, I highly anticipate the cost of these homes to continue to rise as the amount of lots becomes less and less. And there you have it. So what'd you think? Did you like the canyons? Did you want to learn more? For me, I kind of like the area a lot, mostly because it seems like it's a bit of like the Goldilocks zone. It has a little bit of everything, so it appeals to almost everyone. Centrally located with quick access to just about everything, with new modern architecture and an up and coming community, just has a whole lot of goodness all wrapped up into one little package for me. Now, if you have questions or you wanna learn more about this community, just give me a quick contact. You can find my information all below. Well, write me a note in the comments or send me a direct message and I'll get all the information that you're requesting straight over to you. Happy to share anything I can to help you learn about this community. And if you found any of this information helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button, the bell button so you're notified anytime I release a new video and leave me a comment below. I do answer them as fast as I can. I'd love to hear from you about anything I may have covered or may not have covered. I'll provide details and the information and if you leave me a comment. And that's all I've got. Again, my name is Bill Knapp and I'm a residential realtor here in the South Metro Denver area. I'd love the opportunity to work with you if you're considering buying or selling in the area. You can find all my contact details located below. Thanks so much for sticking around this long and I will see you on the next one.